Painting and magical power seem very much the same. Sometimes I'm unable to paint a thing. You mean it? Then what? What happens? Without even thinking about it, I used to be able to fly. Now I'm trying to look inside myself to find out how I did it. But I just can't figure it out. You know, it could be you're working at it too hard. Maybe you should just take a break. Yeah, but still, if I can't fly... Then stop trying. Take long walks, look at the scenery, doze off at noon, don't even think about flying. And then, pretty soon you'll be flying again. spring plant maintenance to do around here. I am so excited. Hi everyone, my name is Dea. Welcome back to my channel. I'm over the moon because in today's video we're going to be doing so much plant maintenance. Like my little plant heart can't even. I'm so excited to pamper my plants and whenever I do that it always makes me feel extra cozy and cared for too. So win-win. Definitely feel free to join me. I am making this video extra long for you guys. There was so much plant watering, propagating, cleaning, all of the spring refresh kind of things. It was basically like spring cleaning, but for my houseplants and I'm here for it. Of course, in order to get organized for all of that, I had to start off by making a list of all the things that I wanted to get done. And in doing that, it just freed up so much mind space so I could just follow along and not feel like I had to carry a mental list around with me. I feel like springtime is such a magical time when we just start seeing so many things around us come to life again. So one of the first things I wanted to do was to go into my office and clean off my south facing window. That way all of the plants that I have there in my office can just soak up all of the sunlight that they want to. So I don't know why but the thought of that, my plants getting extra sunlight and enjoying that just motivated me to want to clean my windows that much more. And of course, I have to play a nice, comforting movie in the background. And I love putting on something that I've already watched because even if I'm in another room doing some plant maintenance, I can still hear it. And it's just, it's such a vibe. It's such a good time. Turn around and show your face. Let me see parts of you. Oh, my heart body is interlaced. so excited to show you my two new monstera leaves look at that baby and then right over here to the side we have this one too oh my gosh i'm so excited I 
Okay everyone, so I have my handy dandy spray bottle here and I'm going to go ahead and put some water in it. Thankfully I ended up charging it yesterday. And then just dilute some dish soap. This is what I'm using. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean the leaves, inspect everything, make sure there are no mealybugs or any kind of pests. And if there are, then I'll go ahead and take care of it while I'm here. I have a video specifically dedicated to the leaf cleaner and shine that I create at home, but this is basically a just water with a little bit of diluted dish soap. I've been using that for three years now, and so personally it's something that I love to continue to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay everyone, so I'm feeling a little tired, but we've made really good progress. So we're starting on the second movie and I'm going to watch Practical Magic and just take some time to relax, sit down and watch and have my lunch. So we'll definitely keep doing some plant maintenance after that. Okay everyone, so as I was watching the movie, I decided the next thing that I wanted to work on was creating my little anti-fungus nut elixir. It's super easy to make and not revolutionary by any means because if you Google it, it'll come up really quick. But essentially what you want to do is grab yourself some cups, apple cider vinegar, and your dish soap of choice. And what I'm going to be doing is filling up the cup with apple cider vinegar and then adding a couple of drops of liquid dish soap to mask the scent a little bit and if you put this near your house plants or the areas where you're seeing any type of fungus gnats they're very much attracted to it so eventually they will gradually die off and i will honestly say that it took about four to five days but i've also done this in the past whenever i have had a fungus net issue and honestly i haven't had one in a really long time so i'm not too sure what ended up happening but having this and my sticky fly traps always come in handy whenever i'm trying to get rid of pests like that so definitely recommend if you're new to house plant or you haven't tried it yet it's definitely good to keep some apple cider vinegar in your kitchen just in case if you ever need it i love how multi-purpose apple cider vinegar is Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So now that the sun is setting, it is golden hour right now, I'm going to go ahead and spray the soil of some of my plants with neem oil, um, especially because I wouldn't want the leaves to get scorched. So this is why I'm doing it now that the sun is setting. So the sun is currently setting. I got a little bit of a wardrobe change because I had one client session tonight. So I took a little bit of a break from doing some plant care, but I'm halfway through watching Hitch and I'm just gonna keep it playing. But I thought something that would be pretty fun that we could do to kind of 
end today would be to maybe go outside and pick some mulberries because apparently my sweet and super kind neighbors have this beautiful gorgeous mulberry tree and I didn't know it was a mulberry tree my husband let me know I also really wanted to show you all some updates on my begonias because my begonia torch is flowering and I'm so excited I'll definitely have to do an outdoor begonia care video very soon I honestly had such a fun plant maintenance day the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want so when I was watering my Monstera Deliciosa, I remembered that I had been wanting to add some more soil into the pot because when I did end up repotting it, I didn't have enough soils. And we had also actually gotten a couple days of rain, so I was able to collect a little bit of rainwater, which was so nice. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you Glue all the pieces back together Yeah you You take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you You're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well Hi everyone, so I thought we could go ahead and make Kylo a little spring salad. I actually just ended up having one and it was so good. Of course, this is going to be a little bit different. No poppy seed dressing for him. So I'm just gonna have some spring mix and some strawberries. And for anyone who's new to my channel, Kylo is our pet bunny. And every bunny has their own personality and Kylo is a huge introvert. Like he loves being in his own space. Like he will let you know when he wants to be cuddled. <laughs> He's a spoiled prince, but he's my spoiled little goober prince and I love him. I don't show him on my channel very often just because he's living his best little bunny life off camera, but I thought we could go ahead and just hang out with him together today for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some kale. Kylo loves kale. He loves for it. He will literally devour this in a couple of minutes. And I've got some baby spring mix. Then I'm going to give him two little mini strawberries. Two little strawberries. Alright, let's go give it to him. So mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever. I 
feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Hi everyone, so we've reached the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed coming along with me. All of the plant maintenance that you all saw, I was able to do in little bits and pieces throughout my week. So I definitely don't want anyone to watch this and think that I got all of that done in one day. Maybe I could have if I wouldn't be filming, but I am glad that I got to share it with all of you because sometimes there can be this pressure to want to get everything done in one day or to get everything done quickly when sometimes it's actually really enjoyable and really fun to space out the plant care and spend some time just slowing down and enjoying those little moments. And it's especially really great if you're feeling a little anxious, a little overwhelmed or stressed to be able to slow down a little bit and tackle one thing at a time. I think if this season teaches us anything, it's that things gradually grow. It's not something that happens quickly overnight all the time things take time to grow and it's also okay for us to take our time doing the things that we want to do or feel that we need to do also because i was doing a little bit of spring cleaning i ended up finding this mug and i have re-fallen in love with her it's just interesting how many little things maybe we end up rediscovering or finding whenever we do start doing a little bit of spring cleaning or just looking through the things that we haven't looked through in a while. But again, thank you all so much for spending some time with me, hanging out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know if you're doing some similar plant maintenance this spring season or if you're doing anything differently. You know I love to read about it in the comments section. And even if you don't feel like writing anything, I would love it if you would leave me your favorite springtime emoji, whether it's some flowers or anything planty or springtime, I would love that. I hope that if you need some time to rest this weekend that you're able to take some time because because you deserve it. We all deserve to have some time to rest. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and join the little cozy planting community that we have here on my channel. Stay cozy everyone and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.